dumb thing that he said. I, I, don't, I, I think it was caught in the act. I don't think he realized. There comes the news chopper. And they were able to zoom in, get these pictures. But this is going to be talked about. This is going to be the discussion. Forget about terrific things that are happening in this country. American companies, entrepreneurs doing terrific things. Veterans, uh, celebrations, parades in our country, all this. They want to focus on on Chris Christie's suntan. On a beach that the Democrats could not approve for funding. But there's a governor's mansion that's right there on the beach. Christie uh, said that his family uh, was vacationing there. He come to visit him, spending a few minutes with them. And it happens to be on this beach that's on the property of the governor's mansion. He's not breaking any laws. But nope. That's the see this is and that's it's a direct attack on on the right to just further disparage because they have nothing better to talk about. Apparently, there's nothing else. It must be a slow news day. Hey, did you hear about the World Trade Center this past Sunday? It was closed down due to a bomb scare. This was uh, Sunday afternoon. Uh, it was quite a scramble to evacuate everybody. Now, this is the epicenter, as you know, ground zero at the heart of 9-11, where uh, uh, it all started. But uh, luckily, it proved to be a false alarm caused by an unattended backpack that was left on a subway train. But New York's finest, New York's finest, you got to give it to uh, you know, New Jersey and New York. We got bomb sniffing dogs. You got to love our canines. They got a hit on a uh, unattended backpack, is basically how they put it out there, left behind on a train from Hoboken, New Jersey, about 3 p.m. on Sunday. And authorities evacuated hundreds from the station adjacent to the uh, O'Killis building, a lower Manhattan building, according to the New York Daily News. And the backpack turned out to be filled with clothing and vitamins, according to authorities. So it was quite a scene. Uh, the building was shut down cleared out while Port Authority police investigated, reported WCBS in New York, WCBS TV, that is, police and National Guard troops were guarding the entrances, leaving people on the streets, and the evacuation caused some scary moments for those at the World Trade Center before the station was opened at 5 p.m. Very scary for people working in the building, having no idea, no idea what was going on. I mean, the military guys came in said that we had to evacuate, so they were about a few other customers in the store. They had just uh, locked up and made sure that everything was secure in pretty much every other store. I do the same thing, said Matthew Sons. Yolanda Goldberg, who lives in London, told WCBS-TV that she was trying to get into the 9-11 Museum when the station was shut down. We have to be very careful nowadays, Goldberg said. It's a scary world, so it could be nothing or it could be something dangerous. So, yeah, you have to take precautions. So some went to uh, social media during the evacuation and said evacuation underway at World Trade Center. Hashtag WTC. Hashtag New York City. Pick dot Twitter. Uh, Richard says, um, was thankful to learn that it was a false alarm and nothing bad happened, but be alert folks, vigilance, especially during this 4th of July celebration. That's very celebratory for us. No matter where you are, be careful. And I always say, no matter where you are, be vigilant. Like Bush W uh, George W said, be vigilant. You got to be watch watchful. You see something, say something, call. And you better be on the safe side than not say anything at all. And the life that you could be saving, you may have heard this, could be your own. So be careful, and especially with fireworks. I was in Publix on my way home yesterday, and a uh, young 16-year-old kid, I asked him if he was going to set anything off, and he said he makes his own fireworks. Okay. Now, I do the show from Tampa, Florida, okay? Now, we've had, uh, luckily, we've had some rain over the last several weeks because we were going through a real dry spell. And he was telling me that he lights these homemade fireworks off in a field, and he says, but it's it's not that dry, usually. And I said, homemade fireworks? No kidding. He said, you 
set any things any of these off and yeah oh yeah we, we do it all the time homemade fireworks i was uh, shook my head and i said be really careful besides being illegal to do it people do it they'll string all sorts of things together because they want the biggest boom uh the biggest boom can take your take your hand off even for people that think that they're experienced you're not a professional i don't really know how any men get their hands burned off or their finger blown off uh folks it's not worth any of that uh go see a show you know, if you're doing a few bottle rockets here and there, even those things could actually do damage uh, and then burn somebody's house, house down with leaves uh, on their roof or whatever. Just please use your head. Fires do start every year around the country. And if it's in a dry location, some cities are not even going to allow you to do the fireworks in the first place. But to me, uh, if the city is uh, doing a fireworks show somewhere, go to the show or watch something on television. But uh, seriously, don't take the risk and save your money. People spend a ridiculous amount on fireworks where it's not even funny. And your your city, your town nearby might be having something. I know it's a little warm. Bring your lawn chairs. I used to do that when I was a kid with my family. I used to have a bang, you know, going out literally. <laughs> and fun. Uh, you know, bring some food, some munchies, some uh, repellent. And uh, enjoy a really big show because you get the uh, the big sounds and the pros set it off. They do a magnificent job, but these people are paid professionals. They know what they're doing. It's at their expense. And there's nothing better than one of those shows that the, the town puts on. And then there's the grand finale, which is just awesome. So take the kids out, enjoy a show, make it a, a family outing. And I hope you remember the the real reason why we set all these things off. And most of you are very patriotic to the bone and, and thank God for that and for everything that you do. Um, and for all those that have, uh, loved the military and, uh, supported the military and you don't have to be in the military to love our country. You love our country is because what the military has done through the years. And right now, even as we speak, uh, to know that they have fought for hundreds of years so you can enjoy a day like today. Um, a day where you can go out and drive your car in, in safety, go to the grocery store, clean your car, mow your grass. Uh, thank God for these simple things, folks, that a lot of our Americans take for granted. They've never left our country. I've left this country. And when I come back from different places, I say to myself, no place like the USA and Talk to any military person that comes back from overseas. They kiss the ground. Most of them do. And they know how great it is because it's not so great in a lot of other places around the country, uh, around the world. It's, it's just not. Um, we do have a beautiful place. <laughs> we do. Thank God for it and for men and women that are courageous enough to go out and fight the good fight and they still do it today and so we honor you if past and present military for the people we love you thanks so much we'll be back with much more right after this don't go anywhere Here's a message to every rapist, domestic abuser, violent criminal thug, and every other monster who preys upon women. Maybe you've heard the stories about millions of us flocking to gun stores and gun ranges for the first time, the second time, and the hundredth time. Here's what that means for despicable cowards like you. Your life expectancy just got shorter. Because there's a very good chance your next target will be armed, trained, and ready to exercise her right to choose her life over yours. This is what real empowerment looks like. Millions of American moms, grandmothers, and professional women taking our lives and our families' lives into our own capable hands. I'm the National Rifle Association of America, and I'm freedom's safest place. Some things in life need a little attention. Like a plant, if not watered, it begins to turn brown. But if watered properly, its leaves turn green again. 
Like a plant, For the People needs watering too. Your thoughtfulness provides sustainability for us to grow and reach our full potential. You see, For the People depends on you to broadcast this program to help inform and educate folks so you can make a difference right where you are. Grab your watering can and join us as we endeavor to make a difference in people's lives each and every day. To donate, go to ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Just look for the watering can and water as much as you can. At For the People, our garden is full of opportunities, and planting something allows others to enjoy the benefits. At For the People, our mission is simple. Give you the news that matters with good old-fashioned common sense, mixed with a conservative point of view. Simply log on to our website at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Thanks for your support. For the People is back and also online at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's where you can find us on the World Wide Web at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's our place on the web. If you've not taken a look at us recently, we've kind of revamped a few things. And at ForThePeopleShow.com, our store page features the amazing 123 Ready TV, that TV app that allows you to watch all your favorite movies that end up in the movie theater or have been in the past, TV shows, sports, weather, everything, no commercials, nineteen ninety nine. It's a uh, it's a marvel. It really is. Uh, one two three ready TV at for the people show dot com. Download it there. Tell me about it. I have so many listeners that call me back uh, and say, Keith, thanks so much for recommending the product. It's the uh, best thing that I've ever had because I'm trying to save money. And you might be in that same boat, but you don't want to be forking out all that cash for the entertainment. Nineteen ninety nine. Trust me when I tell you, I love it. Uh, my whole family enjoys it. What a nice price, though, for it. And uh, you don't have the commercials. I don't like commercials. I only like to run them <laughs> for, for for various things. But to sit there when I'm trying to watch different items, especially when you're paying for like Hulu. Forget about it. Netflix doesn't do it, but you can't find everything on Netflix. You can find everything on One Two Three Ready TV because it's already on the internet. It finds it. How it does it, I have no idea. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to ask the programmers at One Two Three Ready TV. But they they find it. You type in the title, ban. It's right in front of you, and there it is. You watch it on your PC or on your Android devices. All right, so the download's available right now for you for nineteen ninety nine for the people show dot com. Take advantage of it right now. I understand the prices uh, for that is going to go up. That is a uh, what they call it introductory price. So I would definitely take advantage of it. buy it for a friend too. You can do that. You can send it to a friend and let them do it. Maybe they're off somewhere and they have the time to be entertained. Uh, they might be on a uh, budget. And this will allow you to do that. One-time payment of nineteen ninety nine. It's not a monthly deal either. Enjoy it. By the way, uh, Trump is getting some backlash from Chinese President Jinping. And why is that? Well, he's warning Donald Trump today that there are some negative factors that are hurting the U.S.-China relations as tensions flare anew over a slew of long-standing sore points. So Jinping's comments in a phone call with Trump uh, following Beijing's displeasure over U.S. arms sales and rival Taiwan, you know about that, sanctions against a Chinese bank over its uh, dealings with North Korea. Oh, forbid. We have death to America trying to uh, strike towards uh, the South and towards Japan. They don't like it. Most recently, the sailing of a U.S. destroyer within territorial sea limit of a Chinese-claimed island in the South China Sea, which it's not real land, are trying to change the globe. China is doing this. No, Who does this? China does it. They take our property, our computers. They take our electronics. They take our vehicles. And what do they do with it? They back engineer it. And they put their sticker on it, their name on it, and said, we, we, we did this. They're not as good as American products, by the way. But they steal everything. 
So China's trying to 